Hello again. In this project, we'll do our second example of implementing a circuit based on a schematic. The main difference between this project and the first circuit implementation project is that the circuit in this project has two sources. But that doesn't really change our basic approach. About the only difference is that since we'll use the analog discovery to implement our circuit, we'll have a little less flexibility in where we define ground on our schematic. Here's a schematic of the circuit we want to implement. We're going to want to measure the current out of the source, I, and the voltage across this 10 kilo ohm resistor. Now we want to identify nodes on the schematic. As with our first implementation project, the voltage measurement doesn't affect our selection of nodes. However, in order to measure the current, we'll need to insert our ammeter between the source and the 1 kilo ohm resistor. So here's the circuit that we actually want to implement. Now let's identify the circuit nodes. I'll call this node A. This will be node B. This is C. I'll put D here. And this node will be E. Now let's figure out how to implement these sources and where ground needs to be. On this particular circuit, we have two sources, a 5 volt source and a 3 volt source. If we want to use the analog discovery to implement our sources, we need to keep in mind that all of the analog discovery sources apply a voltage difference relative to the discovery's ground. This means that the node shared by both sources needs to be our ground. Now at node A, we have positive 5 volts relative to ground. I can use either V plus or the waveform generator to apply 5 volts relative to ground. I'll use V plus to implement my 5 volt source. At node C, we have positive 3 volts relative to ground. I can only implement a 3 volt source using the waveform generator, so I'll connect channel 1 of the AWG to node C. We don't really have any other decisions left to make. From here on, it's just a matter of connecting the components to the nodes. Now let's create this circuit using our breadboard. First, let's choose rows to correspond to our five nodes. I'll insert these connectors in the rows I choose to keep my place and make it easier for me to find my nodes later. This will be node A, node B, node C, node D, and node E. Now let's connect my power supplies and ground. V plus, the red wire, goes in a hole that's in the node A row. Ground goes at node E. And channel 1 of the waveform generator, the yellow wire, goes at node C. Now I'll connect my resistors. A 1 kilo ohm resistor goes between nodes B and C. A 10 kilo ohm resistor goes between nodes C and D. And my 20 kilo ohm resistor goes between nodes D and E. Finally, I just need to connect my voltage and current measurements. My ammeter probes connect nodes A and B. And channel one of my voltmeter, the orange wire and the orange wire with a white stripe between it, go between nodes C and D. We've got the voltage instrument, the waveform generator, and the voltmeter instrument opened already. I'll turn on power with the voltage instrument to apply the 5 volt source. The waveform generator is set to 3 volts. To apply the 3 volt source, I'll click on run AWG1. The voltage displayed on the voltmeter is about 1 volt, and the current is about 2 milliamps. The values we're reading are pretty close to the values I calculated earlier, so it looks like I implemented the circuit design correctly.